All right, back to Dr. Nachman. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And of course, got thrown a curveball this morning. You know, let's get right to that Johnson & Johnson uh, news. Uh, so how common is this after a vaccine is approved for emergency use for something like this to happen? So first of, all, first of all, it's important to remember that the system is working, that these events were reported to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. They were identified by CDC. They're being investigated. And the sum of them is what led to the FDA saying, let's hold on vaccines until these are further investigated. The event rate at this point seems to be about one case per million doses given. That means it would never have been seen in the original study that perhaps enrolled between 30 and 40,000 patients. Because if something happens only one in a million times, you wouldn't see it in a clinical trial that only had 40,000 patients enrolled. So first of all, it is not surprising that it was not seen earlier, but it's even more important to recognize that with these events, these quite rare events, the CDC and the FDA have taken appropriate action and said, not stop the vaccine or throw it out, but rather let's look into it and see why did it happen. With these cases, they're going to investigate who were these individuals, what medications were they on, what were their lifestyles, were they having any comorbid issues? Because as you know, each of those can also lend itself to clotting disorders. When I think about, for example, people that are elderly that get on airplanes, what do we tell them? Get up and walk around, otherwise you're gonna have a clot in your leg. Put on compression stockings. So all of that type of information about these patients who did develop the clots needs to be further investigated. And that is exactly what is going to happen now. 